Welcome to AM Northwest as we take a special day to ask for your help to keep the promise. We need your support for the Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation, an organization dedicated to screen, treat, save, and restore sight and hearing for those in need throughout Oregon. In 1925, Lions made a promise to Helen Keller to be Knights of the Blind by addressing preventable blindness and hearing loss. The Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation 60 years of keeping the promise. Is there some light down there that you can see? I can see all kinds of stuff. <laughs> when the Oregon Lion Sight and Hearing Foundation was founded in 1959, its first program, Patient Care, provided critical vision surgery and treatment for Oregonians in need. Now there's different things going on there. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Today, Patient Care continues to restore sight and hearing for those in need, and we do so through cutting-edge medical treatment provided by the best in their field. I couldn't give any more thanks to people who donate to change my life forever by being able to provide this procedure for me because this is going to affect my life for years to come in a very positive way. In order to meet the needs of those with hearing problems as well as those with vision difficulties, it was decided to include addressing hearing as a part of the Foundation's mission. Hearing's a big thing. It gives you confidence. Our school vision screening program is now regarded as one of the premier school-based vision screening programs in the U.S. I would be much further in the disease process with Ethan. I, I can't be more thankful that they were there doing vision screening. Not only does the foundation help thousands of people each year with new eyeglasses here in Oregon, we partner with Coffee Creek Correctional Facility for Women to repurpose donated used eyeglasses to help people in developing countries around the world. It's like a... a a ripple effect because it's not just that one girl that you're helping it's her kids and her and her parents and her uh, her partner so i'm excited about the whole community getting benefit from this lions has been integrative in trying to to both deliver health care uh, with free eyeglasses and eyeglass exams low-cost exams uh, provide funding for eye surgery for patients who can't, can't afford it for screening for eye disease before it becomes a big problem. So I think that's part of keeping the promise is one is trying to avoid blindness, two is treating the blindness, and three, we just can improve their quality of life by providing eyeglasses and preventing visual you know, problems. That is a huge uh, way of keeping the promise. Over the years, these important sight and hearing programs have a dramatic impact on those they serve. The Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation dedicated to keeping the promise for 60 years and beyond. Here to share more, we welcome the CEO of the Oregon Line Sight and Hearing Foundation, Doug Thompson. Happy, uh, happy Keep the Promise Day, Doug. Happy Keep the Promise Day, Helen. Thank you so much for having us on KETU today. You bet. I mean, the, uh, the governor proclaimed this official day, right? Keep the Promise Day. Yeah, absolutely. Every Oregonian has been asked to help Lions uh, celebrate, keep the promise day uh, here in Oregon, where it honors a promise that Lions made to Helen Keller way back in 1925 when she attended a Lions convention and said, take up my cause of addressing preventable blindness and hearing loss. And here in Oregon, uh, Lions founded the Oregon Lions Sight and Hearing Foundation in 1959 to do just that. So while we do it every day of the year, today is a special day uh, to commemorate, to celebrate, and to ask your viewers to support our efforts of providing sight and hearing services for Oregonians in need. Where does your passion come from? Wow, that's such a great question. Uh, you know, Lions have developed the motto of we serve. And the, the, the concept of helping others in need is something that I think resonates with everybody. And boy, if you can do something, even if it's a small thing, to help a person see the world around them better or to hear the beauty of the world around them a, uh, a little bit better, it's such a great way to help keep that promise that was made to Helen Keller. And throughout the day today, your viewers, Helen, are gonna have an opportunity to learn more about what this keeping the promise means and how they can all help us do this. I know you're proud that um, as a nonprofit, you guys are four star and charity, nav charity navigator which is huge, that's an incredible accomplishment. Uh, and also that Oregon Business Magazine ranks, ranks, ranks you as one of the best nonprofits. 
Yeah, you know, many people are aware that Oregon Business Magazine does rank the best companies to work right. for in Oregon. What they may not know until now is that they also rank the best nonprofits in Oregon to work for. And we've been really grateful to be listed amongst the top 10 on that ranking for a number of years. And last fall, we were ranked as the number one best nonprofit to work for in Oregon in the medium sized category. And we just love to share that uh, with our supporters and perspectives perspective supporters. And Helen, you know, you know as well as I do that Oregon is blessed with so many great nonprofits. Uh, sight and hearing is something that resonates with people. And so we just hope that people will take a, a moment to help us keep that promise. And again, help Oregonians see and hear better. Absolutely. You're going to stay with us for the entire program. And right now, help the Oregon Line Sight and Hearing Foundation keep the promise. 100% of your donation directly supports crucial sight and hearing programs. Every donation makes a difference. Call 866-409-2258 or give online at katu.com slash donate.